Well, good evening again. Well, I wanted to talk about another sort of really uh, interesting feature of the SD90 uh, that certainly the BK7M didn't have, and that's the ability to play multi-channel WAV files. So uh, typically, we know a WAV file as being a file that can play a stereo left and right track. And that uh, consists of two channels, one channel for the left and one channel for the right. But WAV files have the ability to carry multiple channels. So not only one for the left and the right or channels one and two, but you could do channels three, four, five, six, and so on. And so what's interesting about the uh, SD90 is it has the ability to play up to a uh, six channel um, WAV file uh, that you would record or perform. So what I did was, in order to demonstrate this, uh, I asked Al Battistelli, who's an excellent accordionist and, um, and composer, to create a backing track for me of a song that would consist of six tracks. And so he did that, and he created, um, he created uh, a track of the 8X playing uh, a reed accordion, uh, a, the 8X playing a clarinet, then he recorded a track of the 8X playing a guitar, and then he added a, a, a drum track and a bass track uh, via MIDI. And so uh, what I did was um, I, I bounced those down and created this multi-channel wave, and I loaded it onto the um, SD90. Now what's really interesting, and, and the, obviously this is something that the, the BK7M doesn't have the ability to do, is that you now can load a WAV file and then control those six individual volume parts in the, independently with the faders that are on the SD90. So I wanna quickly just kinda of demonstrate uh, for you what I'm talking about. So if we go uh, if we go into the menu and we're gonna I have it on my SD card here. So you'll see that item number two is Al Al Battistelli song called Parisian for Greg V. So he created this song. Um, so he obviously is the is the composer of it, and um, and I created this multi-channel wave file from what he had created. And when I press play, you're gonna hear the whole song. It's gonna sound just like a normal wave file. But what's going to be interesting is then I'm going to go to the faders and I'm going to be able to bring up all of those individual parts. I can make them louder, softer, mute them completely. So I'm going to press uh, press play here. So this is the song. And I will one at a time begin to bring those parts down. So this is going to be the accordion part. And you're left with a clarinet part guitar part, kick, and bass. And now we have everything muted. So I'll go ahead and bring those back up again. This is the bass track. Here's the, the uh, kick. Here's the guitar. Here's the clarinet. Again, that's the clarinet from the 8X, the guitar's from the 8X too. And then here comes the accordion from the 8X. Isn't that really neat? So in this case, if I wanted to take out the lead track and I want to play lead, I could kill the accordion. And now I have a backing track. If I just wanted to hear the accordion for some reason, I could pull the other tracks down. Isn't that really neat? So that's the accordion track one more time. Then we'll bring up the clarinet. And the guitar. Kick. And then the bass. 
So that's the ability for the SD90 to be able to play uh, multi-channel WAV files on the uh, on the unit itself, which I think is just uh, incredibly cool. So I want to thank Al Battistelli for putting this file together and providing it for me. Um, I was able to do this video in probably 15 minutes, so that was really awesome. So thank you, Al, and um, hope this is useful for people who are trying to understand what the SD90 is capable of.